Hey guys, it's Scott with Tube Tape. Hey, I'm going to give you guys some tips on doing a green screen event photography uh, with PhotoKey 4. We recently went down to San Diego and did a charity event for uh, Ronald McDonald House where they had a Mardi Gras theme and what we did was we took people's pictures against green screen and we put them on magazine covers and put frames around them, did that kind of thing. We actually have a photo fun pack uh, that has different movie posters and um, magazine covers and just really neat frames and it's got a kids party thing from FX Home and a couple of different options in there. But anyway, let me show you a couple of tips on when you're doing green screen photography, especially at an event. Uh, as you can see, we have a couple here. We took their picture against green screen. And the thing that I like to use is I like to use layers. So let me go ahead and show you the layers that I have set up. I'll go ahead and turn on my background. And as you can see, this is the main part of what PhotoKey does. It removes the green screen and puts your subject on a background of your choice. But what you can do with layers is you can have multiple backgrounds or multiple um, overlays uh, set up. So let me go ahead and I'll turn on, here's a magazine cover for instance. Now they're on the cover of Vanity Fair. I can turn that off and I could put them on the cover of, say, Rolling Stone. And I went ahead and I had this Bourbon Street background, and I'll switch that in. And now you can see they're on the cover of Rolling Stone um, with a Bourbon Street background. And adding a layer is as simple as clicking Add Layer. And then let's go ahead and pick an image for it. I'm going to put a frame in here. So I have this frame that's really an overlay. And it's a Layer 7 here. Uh, you can see the frame came up. Let me turn off some of this other stuff so you can see the frame by itself. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and size that frame up a little bit so it fits the subject that I'm working for. At the event, I like to use this blurred kind of Bourbon Street background. The other thing, to keep your layers um, in order so you know where they are, I put all my overlays above my foreground, uh, and then I put the... Um, obviously the backgrounds below the foreground and if you want to rename a layer you simply double click it and go ahead and type in the name that you want and there you go now you can see it's it's easy to show people different options so you can just go ahead and click the layers on and off as you want to use them and it works out really well especially at an event where people want to see um, just a couple of different styles go ahead and look at something like this Take the frame off, and there you go. And it's as easy as that.